I have been working in the still life tradition for um, over 10 years. And I started by focusing on the kind of consumerism within still life. But lately it's been all about mortality <laughs> for me. And also about um, these objects as portraiture of individuals or society. The Jewish Museum approached me about creating a work that would be responding to different objects from their permanent collection. I primarily work in clear colorless glass and all of the objects on my compositions are hand sculpted or blown. It's an expressive um, interpretation of objects essentially. My overreaching goals were to represent every holiday throughout the Jewish calendar year with objects on this particular table. I didn't want everything that had to do with Hanukkah on the table, so I was like a little democratic. Well, we have Purim, um, the pastry molds, matzah, Passover, um, Rosh Hashanah is also the new year and the shofar. This is the Etrog container. The Sabbath is represented with the candlesticks. This is a spice container. The tallet is the, the flowing glass that, that everything sits on. The tallet is, uh, is based off of my father's tallet. And then this is a um, a textile, what's well, referencing a textile from the collection. This hand washing cloth really, for me, represents my, my mother. The glass is inherently uh, a fragile material to work with. It, it breaks, it shatters, it has imperfections. It is essentially a parallel of the life cycle in a lot of ways. So uh, it's, it's very compelling for me to continue to use this material. It's also very precious, and it's, it's very temporal in some ways. Even though this is permanent now, the actual process of making the glass is very fleeting and elusive. Every moment that you're working in the material, you're capturing a moment in time. So it does speak to this vanitas tradition in still life and the ideas that I'm most interested in. It's really a portrait of myself.